Hello listeners and welcome to the Untitled Wrestling Podcast. It's your boys from the NXT review and we're doing our predictions for this year's Vengeance Day premium live event, which it's on a recording. It's about three days away. My name's Troy and joined as always by Aaron and Joe. How are we getting on, chaps? Um, good, good, good. Are we yeah. excited for Vengeance Day? Yeah, <laughs> well, I was. A lot until this week's NXT had dipped a bit, but uh, uh, there's, well. there's, there's still like three out of five matches that look fun. So aye, aye. That's not well, bad for a pay per view. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> um, well, let's get straight into it. Uh, I don't know what order these uh, are in, uh, or, or rather, what order they will be finally on the day on the card, um, but the order I have here is the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship match, uh, which is the champions Katana Chance and Caden Carter take on the team of Fallon Henley and Kiana James. Who have we got? Can't hear you. One, one, one key away from a <laughs> uh, Yeah, they're not going to give it to the small uh, Tory constituency of Fallon Henley and try can pipe, are they? Like, it, they're not a team. No. Uh, especially with them now putting Alba Fire and Pale with oh, um, together. Yes. Why have we got a name? I know you mean, though. Alba Fire and... Um, um, the, iron, the Iron Bruisers. The Iron uh, Bruisers. Iron Bruiser. <laughs> yeah. uh, together. It's going to them if it's going to anyone, isn't it? So, yeah. 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 I feel like this match is just a stopgap for something bigger between Alba Fire and... Um, I can't remember a name. But between those two... Um, this, I think, is more about the story of Fallon Henley and Kiana James because they keep trying to sow the seeds of doubt there, don't they? That yeah. Kiana James is up to something. Fallon Henley doesn't quite trust her. So I think this is just more to feed their story. Um, yeah, absolutely. I agree. Chance and Carter are going to win this. Um, next up, we have got two out of three falls match, Apollo Crews against Carmelo Hayes. I'm quite excited for this one. Uh, my gripe about their last match is that they just didn't really get long enough. So a two hour three falls match should more than cover that. Yeah. Yeah. Who we Unless got? they just go one, two, don't even do a third fall. Like someone wins two nil in the space of five minutes. I That's don't fine. see that happening. But uh, stranger things have happened. Uh, this uh, is uh, NXT after all. I am going for a polo cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think he needs it more than Carmelo. Also, there's something happening later on which reflects this match. So, okay, Apollo Cruz is winning. I can, yeah, I say Hayes yeah. takes the first pin, and then Cruz gets the last two. Yeah, uh, and then he shoots him with his bionic eye like Jax from Mortal Kombat. No, Kano, Kano, Kano from Kano, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Um, I agree. I think Apollo Cruz is going to win. I think Hayes is going to get the first fall and Cruz is going to have to come from behind. Yeah. I do, I do, I do. Um, <laughs> NXT Tag Team Championship Fatal 4-Way. Champions The New Day versus Chase U versus Gallus versus Pretty Deadly. It's a new... Uh, Gallus boys on top. Scotland. They, um... Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> It wouldn't surprise me to see them win. However, I think... The way I see it, I think this is how you're getting the New Day out, out without yes. losing. Yeah. Is yeah, how yeah. this is happening. So. Yeah. I think I, we're, we're definitely having new champs. It's it's new champs. New. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Chase U. Well, I would like it to be Chase U, but... I'm kind of incl inclined to agree with Aaron, which is something I never thought I'd say. <laughs> um, is that pretty deadly? About, pretty deadly had a good run with it. Gallus haven't. Yeah, and, yeah. And the, the you know, uh, but I can see it being like Gallus pinning Chase U to take yeah. the belt. So it's the uh, new day aren't going to get pinned, obviously. No, no. But also, then like pretty deadly were good. People like them. Like it's and they're. A better promo than Gallus. My reasoning for choosing Chase U, again, this whole sowing the seeds of doubt. They've been doing it with Duke Hudson, haven't they, for the last yeah. few weeks or months. I feel like they win it, but then they lose it fairly quickly to someone like Gallus through 
a Duke Hudson turn because really? they've been teasing that. It would make sense that they get their kind of their their big moment and they win it. But then that's when we get the eventual turn because we, we've said like it feels like they've been dragging this out for months and months and months, haven't they? Yeah, like, it's a good yeah. When he turn, like, when is it going to happen? I feel like putting something as big as the titles in that storyline makes his turn a bigger Elven deal. More diabolical. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> it does because he like. People have started to warm to them. Like he's he started to get over. It's almost like they've tried to make you gloss over and forget about the fact that there was those seeds of doubt. Which when that surprise comes, the surprise of them winning it, but then the surprise of the Hudson face turn, it just elevates it a bit more. So oh yeah, I'm gonna go with Chase You. Yeah. Um yeah. 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 So who have you both said sorry? Gallus. I said Gallus. Okay. Scotland. Right. Scotland. Aye. Uh, North American Championship match. Wesley against Just Dijak. He has not got stars in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> well, what's the last time Wesley defended the North American Championship? Has he defended the North yeah, American he Championship? Must have done. He must have done, but it feels like a fucking eon ago. Uh, like it's got to be at least a month or so. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. The stipulation of must be defended every every thirty days seems to have gone out the window. <laughs> uh, he defended it on a house show on the sixth of the day. That doesn't count. Tell uh, him. North American title the fourteenth of December defeated Tony D'Angelo. So nearly two months on on NXT TV. Yes. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, and no. they've just had him cut nonsense promo since. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh. fine. That's what NXT do. Uh Dijak. Dijak's gonna Dijak's gonna come out, throw a prison pizza at him and fucking smash his legs in. <laughs> just give him some hard justice. Hard justice. <laughs> hard justice. For those that don't know what a prison pizza is, uh give this week's uh NXT review a listen. All will be revealed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are we unanimously die jack on this? It has Wesley uh, isn't a singles wrestler. Like he's a good wrestler, but uh, he's not a singles wrestler. He hasn't as we proved this week on NXT, he hasn't got that thing about yeah. him, yeah. He's a tag team wrestler. The tag team wrestler, and I don't know whether the other lad did the talking, but um yeah, he's not. Die Jack, on the other hand, is coming in, he's got a sort of character that is uh, there. Um and it sets him up. Like puts a bit of sparkle back on that, and he can put matches on. He can defend it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every week or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, uh, penultimate match on the card is the NXT Women's Championship Triple Threat Champion Roxanne Perez defending against uh, the team. Well, not team, but sort of team. Uh, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane of Toxic Attraction. It's happening. We're it's forget. Not. We're forgetting about her that shall not be named. So, oh. where's the the molding is changed? It's happening. It's there. We just need to put the title on her. Nah. Done. JC Jane is winning that women's title. Really? Nah. Chebs are rising. Che- Chebs are rising. Chebs are they, they may not be rising, but they're sticking out a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> Perez retains here. I think. We get Dolan and Jane just combust, and we see them go off on a there was a, a storyline between those two. I don't think Perez is losing this. Like there was that bit this week where she said, "When I win," and yeah. Jane looked across at her and was like, mm. yeah. "So yeah, it could have just been a slip, but um, it's by villains by design." There, yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say. Gigi Dolan and Jesse Jane both win by simultaneously pinning Roxanne Perez in a, oh, oh, in a, in a feed of unprecedented wankery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, to be fair, like you saw how the, the Battle Royale ended with both of them yeah. in before the same time. Like, Yeah, yeah. they're both going to pin her at the same time and they're going to be like joint champions. And then it'll be like free bird rules. <laughs> so we're, we're all going for something different here. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna say Roxanne Perez retains it. I think it's it's too early to take it off her. They've they had they've I say they've built her not massively, but she's yeah. I eh? see now you're making me think. No, I'm sticking with Perez. We're go all going different. Go with, here. Your, go with your gut. 
Go where you go. Well, yeah, it's that thing of if they split Toxic Attraction apart, then that's one less tag team they've got. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Of, of three. <laughs> Just three. Just, Just three. three. Just die, Jack. Uh, finally, the NXC Championship match. Wow. Well, tested in a steel cage. What are we saying? Well, Aaron. <laughs> The this prophecy be the... is coming true. This could be the last time I ever speak to you. Yeah, this is nine months in the making, and I f- this this could be the end of the NXT podcast. Who knows? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Like, prophecy has to come true. Yeah. But also, I've got the fear that... No, no, no. I would like... We're going up I, to main roster. I would like to bring up a fact. Oh, right. go on. Right. Just because even I've shit myself with this fact of it, <laughs> right? Braun Breaker is the second longest running NXT champion in one reign. Ever? Right? Yep. Who's yep. the first? A man called Adam Cole, maybe. In, in a singular reign? In a singular in a reign. Single run, yeah. Damn. And so uh, they might be trying to just wipe that name off the top of that. So uh, then Bron can go. Yeah. Ah, I'm a... the longest reigning. How long? What's the difference? Still, you know, off the top of your head. Yeah, he's, uh, he's still got like three months to go, I think, or it's up until oh August or something. Are they still get... a while? Oh, and they gonna hold still out till then? Yeah. Oh. Well, See, if, I... you, if you said it was like two, three weeks yeah, away, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's still, still more, a while. But it's still a while. Because this is the rubber match as well, isn't it? I'm, sh- I'm sure it's yeah. like ninety days. So I'm sure it's three months still. Hang oh. on, when was the first one? They had the one where the ropes broke. When was the first one then? Uh, Halloween? Halloween Havoc. I think. I I'm sure remember. this is the rubber match. Um, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> go on. It's probably not now, is it? Maybe. Bron stays on to become longest reigning. But Grayson Waller goes up to main roster. And this is his swan song, if you like. Oh, going up to main roster after not winning. Um, He's made a nuisance of himself. He fought AJ Styles on NXT. The, oh, yeah. People I, know no, who he is. The only other time they've fought is at an NXT live show, like one on one. Oh, so this is only the second. Yeah, so this is yeah, only their second. Wrong. So there's. Oh, so, man, we had chicanery in the last one. I don't want more chicanery. I'm really, just, this is the only one I'm really torn yeah, on. Yeah, now you've put that scene of doubt into my head. I mean, uh, I was already sort of thinking, like, because we were all so adamant that he was, Breaker was going to show up at the Rumble. It's and fine. he didn't. The and prophecy is coming true, boys. <sighs> Grayson Waller is Fuck winning. Fuck it. Bron Breaker. Ah. Ah. To get. Yeah, and he's. That's a, it. Troy wants oh. the NXT podcast to be done. That's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, get me out of this wretched hellscape. <laughs> Wednesday night's back, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think just because... Yeah, it's got to be Waller. Like, the way they portrayed it, it's going to be in a... It's going to be in a steel cage, so there's going to be, like, chicanery of thought, isn't there? Mm. I hope Do so. we see anyone come out and create fuckery to help him win? Nobody's Is it going to be straight... Either... But team, there's no though, one there like, to yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know if they because it's it's a fucking big fucking deal. D comes out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Paul Hogan. Paul I don't, Hogan I don't know. This is stabs him with a knife. That's a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, knifey spoony. This is the first time for God knows how long NXT has has been on the road for a pay per view for a premium live event. I feel like something big. So like we're we're getting a surprise. Like there's something's going to happen here. Ah. Not necessarily in this match, possibly, but I feel Strong. like there's there's going to be something that hasn't been announced on the card yet that that's going to happen. Strong's it... coming out. Ooh. Oh, Rodri. Ooh. Yeah, and he's going to be like, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Remember me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, no, I can just. Uh, it it could possibly be an absolute clusterfuck. Wow. Like it could be shite. Oh, they go, nonsense. If they go and do a load of silly bollocks, like with the ropes and shit, like uh, he throws him into the cage and the cage gives way and then, like, you know, bullshit. Yeah. Like the, the past two bullshit. elimination chambers, like yeah. where the sides go. 
Yeah. Yeah, I like that. All right. So And now with Aaron saying that, I'm kind of wanting to say Bronk. <laughs> well, do you want the NXT podcast to be done too? No, Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm talking myself into corners here. Like, <laughs> So you're still undecided. Aaron, you're definitely going with Waller. I, I'm sticking I'm with Waller. going with Bron. Joe? I'm going to write, no, Waller. I have Waller. to Waller. believe. Right. The prophecy must come true. The prophecy must come true. Okay. All right then. Well, that's been our predictions. Do let us know uh, what you think, whether you agree, disagree. Let us know what your predictions are in the comments below. Uh, and we'll catch you guys uh, next week for our review of Vengeance Day. Uh, maybe. It, it, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I'm pleased to wall wins then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's going to be a double review, isn't it? Or at least... Uh, some sort of discussion about yeah, it. Yeah, there will be discussion about it's, it. Yes. It's going to be a bumper episode. The, so, match, uh, the, the, the episodes after pay per views for NXT are normally not great, to be yeah, fair, are they? Yeah. Like, in hindsight. But we do get Aaron's rating system for pay per views, which I always look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had an NXT one. Since Aaron, we've not had a proper. Sucker. We've not had a live event like from NXT in a while. So. Yeah, long <laughs> one. Yeah. Right. Uh, so yeah in the meantime if you don't already uh, do drop us a follow uh, on all social media outlets Facebook Instagram and YouTube at Untitled Wrestling Podcast and Twitter Twitch and Discord at Untitled Rest Pod we'll see you guys next week all the best bye